Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of Eating on a Budget. As we're all witnessing, inflation is real. Gas prices continue to increase every day to the point it's costing people body parts. Pretty soon, people are going to have to get part-time jobs just to afford gas to go to work. And then on top of that, food prices are increasing every day. Pretty soon, it might get to the point all we can afford to eat is beans and rice and rice and beans. But we're not to that point yet. But if we do get to that point, today's recipe will be perfect. Even if we don't get to that point, today's recipe is very inexpensive, nutritious, and delicious. The recipe we're making today fits our current situation, and it's called inflation stew. But it's more like a very inexpensive cabbage roll soup which only cost a mere 26 cents per serving. So let's get started. You're gonna need a large pot for this recipe. The one I'm using today is eight and a half quarts and you're gonna need a pot at least that size or bigger for this recipe. I have the pot over medium high heat and I've added just a little bit of vegetable oil. If you save up your bacon grease, this will be a good time to use it. It's not only free, but it's tasty. Once the pan is preheated and the oil is hot, I'm going to add one very large yellow onion that I've cut into bite-sized pieces. You can cut them in strips or cut them in smaller pieces if you like. Saute the onions for a few minutes until they begin to sweat. Once you sauteed your onions, add 12 ounces of tomato paste. And then saute it with the onions for a few more minutes. And then add about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Saute for just a couple more minutes. And then add one quart of beef broth. Followed by one quart of water. and then give it all a good mix. And then add two 15 ounce cans of stewed tomatoes. I like stewed tomatoes because they're nice and sweet and they're delicious. If you don't like stewed tomatoes, you can get the whole peeled plum tomatoes or crushed tomatoes or tomato sauce. Now give it all a good mix and bring it up to a boil.
and then season with a little kosher salt. Black pepper. And paprika. Then give it a good mix to get all the flavors combined. And then bring it back up to a boil. And then add a three pound head of cabbage that's been cut up into bite-sized pieces. If you start thinking you're gonna need a bigger pot, don't worry, it doesn't all fit immediately, but after cooking for a few minutes, it'll cook down, and by the time the recipe is done, it'll cook way down. Now give it all a good mix, and let the cabbage cook for about 10 minutes. I'm looking for tender cabbage, I don't want fall apart soft cabbage, so if you want your cabbage softer, cook it a little bit longer. Once the cabbage is cooked down, add another quart of water. And then add a one pound bag of dried lentils that have been rinsed and drained. Normally ground beef would go in cabbage rolls or cabbage roll soup, but ground beef is expensive and we're trying to eat on an inflation-based budget. So lentils are a very good, delicious, and healthy protein substitute. So give it all a good mix, bring it back up to a boil, cover, reduce the heat to medium, and let the lentils cook for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take the lid off, give it all a good mix. and then try a little spoonful of the lentils to see if they're done yet. And after cooking for 15 minutes with the lid on, they were almost done, but they were still just a little bit firm. But that's okay, because we have one more ingredient to add. And that's four cups of cooked rice. So that would be two cups of uncooked rice. Or if you don't even wanna measure, it's a one pound bag of rice. Now mix in the rice, replace the lid, and let it cook for another 10 minutes. After cooking for 10 minutes with the lid on, our inflation stew thickened up a little bit too much. So we added a couple more cups of water. After we added the water, bring it back up to a simmer and then taste for seasoning.
and it needed just a little bit more salt, pepper, and paprika. Now I'm gonna tell you this right now before the end of the video. At the table, I added a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and some hot sauce. And before I tell you how it turned out, I recommend adding it to the recipe before it gets to the table. But everyone might not like the hot sauce or the Worcestershire sauce, so you can do it either way. I originally just left it out of the video because it is a budget video and everyone might not have hot sauce or Worcestershire sauce. But just like with any recipe, use the recipe as a guide, not as a rule. Add things you like. If you don't like lentils, use another type of legume. Add different vegetables. Make it the way you like it. Now at this point, our inflation stew is ready. And in the beginning of the video, I said the cost was 26 cents per serving, and that's a one cup serving. But in this bowl, there's two cups, which I actually had a hard time eating. This soup was extremely filling and delicious. The total cost of this meal was $8.34, and I'm gonna guess that in this eight and a half quart pot, I have 32 one cup servings, which would be 26 cents per serving. Or in the bowl you see here, that's two cups, which will be 52 cents a serving. Either way, it's extremely inexpensive, filling, healthy, and delicious. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you give this a try. If you do, let me know how it turned out, and I'll see you soon.